Oh no, it's 11 a.m. It's drop time. It's drop time. Oh man, another fat L. Darn it. How's it going everybody? Thank you for stopping by the channel. My name is Noah and today I'm going to give you guys tips, tricks, techniques, sizing and resell on the Adidas 700 V3 and the Alva Callaway dropping this May 9th Saturday on the Adidas PH website. We're also going to talk about the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 and the Sulphur Callaway dropping in the Adidas US app and on Yeezy Supply. But before anything else we hit a hundred subscribers and you guys absolutely killed it in the how to cop video that video got a thousand views i didn't expect it to get that many views but apparently you guys like that so thanks I mean it, I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all the love and support that I've been getting. It really motivates me to pump out more quality, quality videos for you guys. With that said, our next goal is to get 690 subscribers! So make sure you tell your friends, tell your family, tell your family's friends, tell your friends' and family to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. With all that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So as I'm making this video, Commonwealth has just announced that they're doing a locals only release through the Cop Date app. So make sure you download the Cop Date app and join the raffle. So, I have five pro tips to help you cop the 700 V3 Alvis this May 9th. This is also applicable to any future release, so take note. Tip number one, prepare ahead of time. Make sure you watch this video to get the specifics of setting up the multiple Google Chrome users jig. Tip number two. Make sure the credit card you're using is enabled for online transactions. Most people get the payment error with them being clueless that their card is not eligible for online transactions. So make sure with your bank to enable your card for online trans. I have said online transaction many times. Tip number three. Make sure you're ready at least. 30 make sure you are ready at least 30 minutes before the drop because usually 15 minutes before the scheduled drop time the waiting room will be open and you're gonna want to be there when that happens tip number four only refresh once so you're in the waiting room 15 minutes before drop time refresh only on the scheduled drop time so if the scheduled drop time is 11 refresh at 11 and never ever hit that refresh button again that takes you back to the start of the queue tip number five this is the last tip press f3 in your laptop or pc to see all the windows now usually when a window hits and gets through it's gonna sound a bell ding 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 but sometimes i don't know why it doesn't ring the bell so you're gonna want to stay vigilant and look at each window for the almost there sign it means you got through and you need to select your size as quickly as possible like man just now let's go to the frequently asked questions. Noah, can I use the same Adidas account for all the Google Chrome users or do I need to use different Adidas accounts for different Google Chrome users? 
no you don't need multiple adidas accounts for the multiple google chrome users i highly discourage you from using one adidas account for all the google chrome users what that's gonna do is just link all that window to one cart and you don't want to do that you're better off checking out as guest that has a higher probability of you copying the shoe noah can i cop multiple pairs using the same details yes I've done this many times, I've used the same credit card details, I've used the same address, I've used the same name for multiple pairs. But what I do as precaution is that I use a different email address for each time I buy a shoe. For example, I got two Yachel Reflectives, I've used the same credit card details, I've used the same address, I've used the same name, but I use two different email addresses now let's talk about sizing now this shoe runs a little bit tight so i suggest you go with your 350 v2 size or you could go half a size up from your through to size noah how is the resale value of this shoe so stock x has this shoe listed from around $330 to $400 depending on the size with um, the bigger sizes going for much more than the smaller sizes. This is due to the fact that this shoe runs a bit small so people tend to go um, for a size bigger than their usual size. Taking into consideration the scarcity of stocks here in the Philippines, I see this shoe going for around 20 to 25k Philippine pesos. Don't pay over that and if you did, <laughs> congratulations. You played yourself. Now let's get on with the second portion of this video, and that's about the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 in the Silver colorway, dropping also May 9th, but in the States for $220. Now it's already loaded up in the Adidas app and Yeezy Supply. Now if you're from the Philippines and you want to cop this shoe, uh, you better have someone who lives in the States or you could always opt to use a shipping cart. Now for me personally, I think the shoe is eh, it's, it's okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a. it's not as fire as the earth. I mean, it has similarities. It has the same stitching pattern. It has the same middle stitching. It, ha, it, it even has the same opaque. I mean, it's not the same color, but it has the same opaque uh, midsole and it has that yellow tab on the bottom of the shoe. I just... I just held this really awkwardly. <laughs> oh, and it has the same liner inside. It's like that dark gray. This is still by far my favorite 350 V2 so far this year. But the Zion is coming in a close second. So make sure you watch my review on the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Earth. I'll put the link in somewhere here. So the method that I taught... So the method that I've taught you is also applicable for Yeezy Supply. You can also use the, the same multiple Google Chrome user jig. The same tips apply to these websites. So the Adidas US app, however, is just doing a regular raffle release, which means the only way to increase your chance of copying the pair is by you making multiple Adidas accounts and joining the raffle multiple times. I forgot to mention that the Sulphur colorway is actually a US exclusive, so it might do good resale wise here in the Philippines because I heard there's a large stock, so it might not do as well in the States, but it probably has resale here in the Philippines. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope this video helps you cop on Saturday. Me personally, um i might go for this release but just to resell because i i still like the vent is way way better look at that look at it it has better materials i'm telling you this is the wave although i do like the silhouette of the 700 v3 i still like the og azale color enough with the rambling make sure you follow me on instagram at noah's a big arc where i've been posting the latest sneaker news i've been posting uh yeezy restocks come on man yeezy restocks make sure you smash that like button share this video and subscribe to my channel
and let's get that 690 subscribers, shall we? With all that being said, 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 said. I'll catch you in the next episode.